चिराय दे अमें सो सो रियली एम्बेडेड इन दिस मैसेज वी सी देर इज डिसेप्शन बिकॉज़ दे कंटिन्यूड वर्शिपिंग दे डिडंट नो दैट दे वर वर्किंग इन 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 डेथ दैट डेथ वाज एक्चुअली कंज्यूमिंग द हाउस then that means they were deceived that means they have embraced the wrong doctrine they have listened to another now that's the do- true definition of apostasy because you see the result is death that apostasy that sin against the holy spirit they have sinned the holy spirit left that means they have they, there was death that means there was the gospel that didn't belong there amen mm-hmm. that means they have adulterated eh? what's that word adult they were adulterating themselves and the lord here has come quickly to rebuke them amen mm-hmm. and he says but you are dead wake up strengthen what remains and is in the side of and eh? remains and is about to die mm-hmm. <clears throat> for i have found your deeds unfinished in the sight of my god mm-hmm. now the word unfinished let's look at there i have not found your works perfect perfect now that's very powerful that's very powerful because uh, wait okay unfinished and i says eh not perfect new king james and king james says and then new american standard bible says their deeds it says i have not found your deeds completed eh unfinished imperfect incomplete mm-hmm. amen and then the amplified says i know your record and what you are doing when it says it says for i have not found a thing that you have done i have not found a thing that you have done any work of yours meeting the requirements of my god or perfect in his sight mm-hmm. eh? uh, Now, the day I learned the true definition of perfection or perfect that day the way I talk about perfection changes changed amen mm-hmm. amen because when 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 whenever you go to someone uh, whenever you go to the church and you ask are you perfect they say no i'm a sinner that's the answer and then they ask and then you ask them my dear friend you need to repent and be Jesus said we need to be perfect even as our heavenly father is perfect they say are you telling me there is a person that has never ever ever committed a sin are you holy you say yes i'm holy are you telling me you have never ever ever committed any sin now whenever you hear such a question they just know that this person does not understand the word perfect hallelujah mm-hmm. now this one will take us time to, to 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 wrestle with because because the way we understand the word perfect determines how we respond to questions such as are you holy because this word is such a beautiful word amen mm-hmm. despite the flesh Hallelujah. Look, he's speaking to flesh to human to human beings here. He's speaking to people that are still in the flesh that have not gone to heaven. He's looking at them and he's rebuking them for being imperfect. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Now this looks quite interesting, isn't it? No you know that human beings are imperfect. They say, no? The Lord comes. He says Sardis, we cannot continue like this. Walking in imperfection. No. The time is now for you to walk in this perfect highway of holiness. <laughs> Because he say He commands them to repent. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have not found your deeds perfect. 
finished, complete. Eh? No, he says no. They are not. Meaning, they must be perfect. Ah, uh, yes. Meaning, meaning, sardis, the works. Now, this is really a message to this church, we said. This message is really to the church. He says, sardis, your works out to be perfect before the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. That's, the, that's for you and me now. He says, the, the works, he says, your deeds as a church out to be perfect. He is not asking for, for what? Excuse. He's not asking why you cannot be perfect. He doesn't say, Sardis, why are you not perfect? Perhaps it's coming out, but no, he's saying, Sardis, tell me. Tell me, Sardis. Are you saying, uh, 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 the way I want to put it is not right. <laughs> but, but he's saying to Sardis, nevertheless, that Sardis, your works are not perfect before the Lord. Meaning, Sardis, your works need to be perfect. But what is this perfection he's talking about? It means finishing, finish. Amen? Complete. Uh, I love the Bible. I love the Word of God. But maybe you can finish this next time. Yeah? <laughs> I don't. I don't want to go too, too far because because this is really this is now a time when now we need to to really look at this because when he's saying your deeds are not finished because you even hear him say you are not holy. This is really the message that is coming out of here. Yes. Done. And 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 I, and I want us to, to take it heads on next time because because this message is big now. Now here we need to slow down also like we did in verse one, and then examine this perfection he requires of them, because until today the church is saying no, I will never be perfect until I enter heaven. Yet he is saying you are not yet in heaven, you are not perfect, and that must stop. He is talking to Sardis now. He didn't say Sardis. When you get to heaven, you will be perfect. No, he says Sardis. I did not find your works perfect. And that is deeply troubling. That means Sardis, your works must be perfect right now. Repent, Sardis. You need to walk in the perfect standard of the Lord. Because he's saying, in Amplified, you have not met the perfect standard. Of, you have not met the standard of the Lord. He says, Sardis, you need to meet the standard of the Lord. You need to walk in perfection. Sardis, this is the hour for you to walk in perf perfection, in completion. Yeah? <laughs> this is the time for you to walk in that standard of the Lord. And really, we know that He's speaking about holiness. But now we want to really bring this out because some people really, they, don't, they cannot, because they look at the Bible and say, uh, you are holy. No? They don't even want to say they are holy, even though the Bible says you are holy and royal priesthood. They don't even want to, 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 to really take that and walk in it. No? So it says, Sargis, you are holy. No? They, they, I mean, when the Lord said you are a holy nation, they don't even want to, call, to say that I'm holy. Because they say, no, I'm not holy. If I say I'm holy, that would be safe righteousness. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. So they're afraid to say I'm holy. And they are also, as, as much as they're afraid to say I'm holy, and then when they look at the word perfect, it's all scary. It's as if they say they are perfect, it's, 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 it's like claiming that they are God or something. <laughs> Yet, we see over and over in Scripture that the Lord himself, has, has given us that privilege to walk in this holiness of the Lord, in this perfect standard of the Lord. He's saying, I have called you to be perfect. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your heavenly Father is perfect. He says, Abraham 
walk before me and be ye perfect. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We thank you for your word tonight. And we, just, we just thank you, Lord, for opening our hearts to receive your word. Lord, help us to, to walk in this wisdom, to steer clear of apostasy, to steer clear of idolatry and adultery, to steer clear of sin. Indeed, it is sin that had caused Holy Spirit to leave this church. For I pray, Lord, that you separate our hearts from sin. And Lord, separate our hearts from sin, that we may walk in righteousness, that we may build the house of the Lord. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless this devotion. And I pray, Lord, that you uh, save, that you bring many young people in this hostel to the to, to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Help us, O oh Lord, to evangelize Christ in this city, Moscow, Father, that many people here may come to know you as Lord and Savior and see the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah.